Modes Chart Builder allows you to analyze and present your data by making visualizations. After you've returned a query, click on any of the shortcut links at the top of your results table to create a pivot table or chart, or access the full list of options here or here. In this tutorial, we're going to create a chart, but you can learn more about big numbers or pivot tables in the articles on our help site. Once you've landed in the chart builder, click the chart picker to toggle between a number of out of the box charts. Once you've selected a chart type, the chart builder will update a list of available drop zones. Some drop zones are required to create a chart and others are optional. In the empty state, you can find a list of what fields are necessary to build each chart and hints as to what kind of fields you may want to use. To check and see if you have the data needed to make a chart, look at your list of fields. The columns from your query will show up in the field list as either a dimension or a measure. To understand how your data is structured, observe whether the columns in your results set are quantitative or qualitative in nature. Quantitative data will show up as a green field and will create a green pill when dragged to the chart. Qualitative data will show up as a blue field and will generate a blue pill when dragged to a chart. By default, measures are considered to be continuous qualitative fields that can be averaged or counted. Examples of measures are the sum of profit or average signups. Dimensions are treated as discrete qualitative fields with the exception of date fields. A dimension's data can be categorized. Sales rep, region, or ad channel are some examples of dimensions. Dates can be either continuous or discrete fields. Let's imagine you have the result set of signup data. Aggregate signups into separate quarters, months, or days by clicking the dropdown on your date pill and selecting a discrete option from the date part section in the context menu. If we're looking at quarters on a chart, signups from Q2 of 2016 will be grouped with signups from Q2 of 2018. Each signup is bucketed into one of four discrete categories. If you want to look at signups across time, set your date to a continuous option from the dates and times section. When quarter is selected here, each individual quarter will be treated as a distinct value in a longer, continuous timeline. Signups from Q1 of 2016 won't be bucketed with signups from Q1 of 2018 because those two values are at different points in time on the scale. Once you understand your field set, you can start dragging fields into the drop zones. Let's look at sales by region, for example. Drag a dimension to the x-axis, region, and a measure to the y-axis, sales. By default, the chart will reflect the sum of sales for each region. Change how sales are aggregated at any point by clicking the Pills context menu. Use the quick sort buttons in the toolbar to quickly sort your chart. Or, for a bar chart, try the swap axes button to switch between a vertical and horizontal chart type. From here, you can add additional measures to the y-axis to compare different fields or map by an additional field altogether. Let's say I want to understand how each sales rep is doing in the following regions. I can drag sales reps to the color zone, and now I see an additional breakdown based on each sales rep. There are a lot of reps here, so let's remove a few to make this chart easier to digest. You can filter out data at any point by creating a visualization filter. Drag any field into the filter card and uncheck the data points you want to hide from your chart. Similarly, you can also create visualization filters to update a date or numeric range. If you want to better understand the data that's powering a chart, expand the chart data header to see a tabular view of the data that's being represented in your visualization. Or click on a series to drill down or view the row level data for the specific portion of your chart. Once you've finished building, there are a number of formatting properties you can take to update the look and feel. Change a chart's color palette at any time by clicking on the color header here. For general formatting updates, head to the Formatting tab. You can customize labels, hide and show elements, and control the placement of things like 
the legend from here. Use the history buttons to undo or redo a change at any point. You can also clear your chart. It sorts your filters or create a new chart or a duplicate. When you're finished, head over to the report builder to share your work with others. Head to mode.com to try it out for yourself today.